So the next one, and what I'm going to talk about is the early retirement checklist. So deciding when to retire, retire, uh, not just early, but on time is probably one of the hardest decisions anyone has to make, right? And let's say you hit your fire number at $1 million, $2 million, or $3 million. But how do you truly know if you're ready to retire? And I've been compiling several checklists together to help you determine your retirement date. And the first one is the mental checklist, okay? Not financial checklist, that I will go over that in a little bit, but it's the mental and health checklist. Not mental health, but mental and health checklist. One, what is your reason for retiring on this date? And are you truly ready to retire from the workforce? And some people enjoy working. I don't blame them. You know, they love their jobs because they feel like they have a purpose in their line of work. You may be financially independent, but it doesn't mean that you're mentally ready to retire early. And number two, when was the last time you and your spouse had, uh, did a physical checkup? This is really important. How do you plan to have your health insurance coverage during unemployment? Because early retirement basically means you're going to be unemployed uh, unemployed be, uh, before you reach your normal retirement age, right? And three, uh, do you plan to move when you retire early? Because you're going to need a relocation checklist after you retire early. And four, is your spouse going to retire in the same year as you? Or is your spouse going to retire later than you? Maybe your spouse still likes to work and that's completely fine. You just want to make sure that you guys don't deviate from the joint retirement plan, okay? And five, are your kids going to be a part of your early retirement journey? Most people I know would prefer to retire after their kids are gone to college or moved out completely. And if you're, they're going to be a part of your early retirement, uh, what what are some of the restrictions in your retirement like life, like you know schools and stuff, right? Six. Do you have a bucket list? I have a bucket list. I have like. I don't know, like 200 items on my bucket list that I want to achieve. Do you have a to-do list? Are you in a social circle like my private Facebook group uh, where you can share your financial independence journey? Seven, do you have a backup plan if you experience financial headwinds? Now, what is the probability of you going back to work? If you don't plan it right, then that would be the worst nightmare, right? And if you have any additional inputs, let me know in the comment section down below. And the next one is your financial checklist for your early retirement. One, are you tracking all of your passive income streams? And when I retire, I'm tracking my taxable investment accounts that pay quarterly dividends. And I'm also tracking the earnings and interest that accrue inside my investment accounts. How much am I going to make in rental income? If one of those income streams fails, am I going to be able to live off uh, of something else because most pensions don't come in until you're 60, 62, or 65 years old. And two, do you have all of your consumer debts paid off? That means your credit card debt, car loans, personal loans, or student loans, right? You should not retire if you're still carrying consumer debts. Should you carry a mortgage debt going into your early retirement? In my case, I would like to have it paid off or uh, to completely uh, reduce my liabilities. Um, but I have more assets than the mortgage debt uh, by the ratio of five to one or 10 to one, then I might feel comfortable with carrying a mortgage debt going into my early retirement. It really depends, right? But if I'm going to carry uh, my mortgage debt, I need to make sure it's included in my fire number. Okay. And three, do you have a tax plan in place for your early retirement? If you're going to collect your pension, you need to keep in mind that money is taxable income. You're, this is another thing I thought it was ridiculous that you, when you're retired with Social Security, it is still taxable. Whatever. Um, but your dividends are also taxable income, but they can be taxed differently depending on the type of dividend investments you have. Do you know how much you're going to pay in taxes every year just for real estate investments? How do you plan to write off your, uh, your expenses every year? And four, have you reviewed your retirement budget? Because your retirement budget is going to be a lot different from the budget that you're on now while you're working. But you need to have a baseline budget established, and that's your housing expenses, transportation, 
groceries, utilities, and insurance. So how much does it cost to keep a roof over your head? How much does it cost to go from point A to point B? Uh, how much does it cost to get your groceries every single month, not including dining out? And how much does it cost to keep your house running with water, gas, and uh, electricity every month? And how much does it cost to pay for your car insurance, health insurance, and homeowner's insurance, right? And five, insurance. Do you have life insurance in case you pass away sooner than expected? If you're already financially independent, the assets and investments you have now should give your surviving spouse or kids financial solvency, right? But if you feel like you need more uh, more money to make sure your family doesn't need to go back to work to pay for their expenses, you should talk to an insurance agent. I don't have anyone that I can recommend uh, off the top of my head. I have my own term life insurance. Uh, you and your spouse should also have a will or a living trust in place to make sure your kids or somebody else know exact uh somebody else know exactly what to do if you and your spouse uh both pass away at the same time you have to think about the worst case scenario so your family is protected and six you need to do a stress test on your retirement portfolio a lot of financial planners and advisors can do that for you but if you can do it on your own you should do it too so if you go through a two-year bear market and lose 30 or 40 percent of your investment portfolio could you still retire? What is your risk tolerance going into your early retirement? How are your assets allocated? Those are just some of the questions you need to, uh, to ask about your investment portfolio. And seven, what is your investment withdrawal strategy? Are you doing the standard 4% withdrawal rate or is it gonna be something lower? This could depend on the size of your portfolio, right? If you have a $5 million portfolio, you might not need the 4% withdrawal rate, right? And if we go through a bear market, how is it gonna change your withdrawal strategy? Is it gonna go down to 3% or is it gonna go down to 2.5%? And eight, how much are you looking to save in your emergency fund? And I'm gonna reveal my strategy in the private group coaching session immediately after the public live stream.